Welcome to the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. Right now, you're standing inside CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and you've got a view that very few people will ever see. We're about 100 meters beneath the Swiss-French border, and above you is just one of the experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, itself the largest machine in the world. In a few minutes, we'll head up there, yet yeah, on that cherry picker, to see what happens when you smash particles together at close to the speed of light. But before we do, let me show you what kind of kit you need to get things going that fast. So here we are, walking along part of the long circular tunnel that houses the LHC. And that's it next to you. That is the Large Hadron Collider, that collection of magnets. It's a 27 kilometer long loop. There are four experiments on the LHC and 10 accelerators in the complex, which together accelerate bunches of particles up to close to the speed of light. Each section in the tunnel performs a very specific function, from cooling things down to minus 271 degrees C, or focusing the beam, more specifically beams that fly around the ring. Because there are actually two pipes running in opposite directions, and that's so eventually you can smash the two sets of circulating beams together and create conditions similar to those at the birth of the universe. So. Would you like to see what that looks like? Yes, I thought so. Me too. This cavern contains the CMS experiment, the compact muon solenoid. Although there's nothing compact about it, if you ask me. This is one of the places that helped to discover the Higgs boson. So, that big shiny pipe above you is connected to the tunnels that we were just in. And when the beams of particles are going fast enough, tiny adjustments are made to bring those two beams together until, right here, they collide. In an instant, the particles are smashed to pieces. And it's these even smaller particles that the CMS can detect. It's an enormous sensor that looks for the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By using even higher energy collisions, the CERN scientists hope to find other particles and explain mysteries like dark energy and dark matter, which makes up 95% of the matter in our universe. This is big science performed on the tiniest of scales.